Oh, hey, you're probably wondering how this all happened. Well, this all happened a few days ago. Ernie was just renting a new house, well, because he got himself trapped in a closet in his old house. But... At first, he wasn't too sure about this new house. Batman, I don't know. What happens if I get myself trapped somewhere in this house? Ernie, trust me. You'll be fine. Okay. You're probably wondering what I just told you had anything to do with this, right? Well, here's the full story. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Ernie had always been very lonely living alone in the hotel. And now that he was in this new house, and since, he, and since he would probably feel alone again, we decided to get Ernie a girlfriend. But the problem was, she was always on the phone. Hey, are you going to come watch TV with me or what? And I was like, hold on, I'm on the phone, Ernie, okay? Yeah, I know, and Carol was saying like, if you like talking to your friends so much, how about you just go out and meet them? Ah. <sighs> Dun, dun. Yeah, I know. Sometimes Carol can just be pretty funny. Oh, come on, Laura. You're in the way of the TV. I can't see. Hey. Ugh. Yeah, I know. It's like, did you say something, Ernie? Ugh. Listen, I'm sick and tired of you always being on the phone. You know what? If you're going to raise your voice to me, I'm going to go to my mother's house. Good. Then I don't have to listen to it. <laughs> she just doesn't understand how my life was. Ugh. Is everything okay, Ernie? I heard yelling. You know, I just can't stand Lori. She's always on the phone and stuff, and she blocks the view of the TV. It was a terrible idea making her my girlfriend. Well, Ernie, she's just a girl, and I don't know if she would like you breaking up with her. Well, maybe I should break up with her. You know what? This is your fault. Ernie, look, I'm a cop. I'm just trying to make people happy, and some people might be sad, but... It's not my problem, I'm just trying to help. Now, excuse me, I gotta go to a job. Hmm. <laughs> How about this? How about you get a job? But the only thing I'm good at is sleeping. <laughs> well, at least he admits it. Well, I gotta go, Ernie, okay? So I guess, have fun. I'm sorry if you're not happy, though. Then, then. <sighs> I felt bad for Ernie, but I didn't really know what to do. I didn't want him to break up with his girlfriend, but if that's what made him happy, then I guess. I just had mixed emotions, but at the time, I just went to my job and just decided to not worry about it. Life is life. I made a big mistake. And then Sue came over and she was like, hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I thought you went to your mother's house, Lori. And I was like, well, I decided to stay here because apparently my mother's not home and I don't feel like being home alone right now. So, yeah, then it was like, I can't take it anymore. This is all Batman's fault. You know what? No, this is my fault. If I didn't get my stupid self locked in that stupid closet, I never would have met Batman. Okay, okay, it's Batman's fault and maybe a little bit of my fault. If I never got myself locked in that closet, I never would have met Batman. If I never would have met Batman, I never would have met Lori. Okay, it's my fault and Batman's, but mostly Batman's. I need to do something. 
Ernie, at the time, had so many thoughts in his head, he just didn't know what to do. If I was Ernie, I just would have broke up with her, or at least try to have a talk with her. But that is nothing compared to what Ernie did. And I will never see Ernie the same way again. And I'll never see him again. And here's why. Dun dun. <sighs> Sorry, I'm getting a little emotional here. <sighs> anyway. Dun. At the time, I've just gotten back from my job and I was sitting down, you know, just thinking. Then I started thinking I should go see what Ernie's doing. But then he came up to me and said, Hey, Batman. Uh, I was thinking, maybe I was a little too harsh on Lori. So I was thinking, maybe I should take her on like a nice romantic date or something. Oh, that sounds sweet, Ernie. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I was thinking we could go up to that building. Uh, what's it called again? The Fridge of Fear? Yeah, 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 that one. I don't know, Ernie. That's kind of high up. I mean, what if one of you fall? We've had a lot of cases where people fall off that fridge of fear and they don't make it. Yeah, yeah, but don't worry. I'll be extra careful, okay? Lori! Dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. I thought it was nice that Ernie was going to take Lori on a nice day, but I was also worried about them going up that fridge of fear. I mean, look at how tall it is. Dun! Would you go up that thing? Then, when Ernie asked Lori, at first he couldn't convince Lori to go because she was scared. But after a while, he finally convinced her. Yay! Come on, Lori, let's go. Then, okay, hold on, Carol. I'll call you back in a minute. Dun 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 dun. dun. Man, if I could see in the future. I wish I could have stopped them from going up there, especially stop Lori. Then, wow, that's big. We can sure climb that. Yeah, then Carol was like, uh, oh, yeah, 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 we can climb that. Come on. Yeah, I know. Okay, and I'm going up right now. God, I wish we'd get off that phone. But hey, this is a date. Can't be mean. Okay, I'll go first because I'm a man. Obviously, I'm bigger, too. Uh, then, uh, huh, this is easier than I thought. Uh. And then, okay, I'm coming. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, Carol, how about I send you a video of this? Yeah. Da -da -da. They climbed and climbed, but then they finally made it up. Come on, Lori. I'm coming, Ernie. I'm not as strong as you. Then... <sighs> Jen, Lori was definitely not prepared for what was going to happen next. There they were, almost 30 feet in the air. Then Ernie said, Hey, Lori, how about you take a nice view of down there? Isn't it cool? Then, well, wow, this is really high up, Carol. Yeah, I know. Here, let me send you a picture. Oh yeah, just keep on looking. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, come on, stupid Wi-Fi, work! Dun, listen! Whoa, that was better than I expected! Dun. Wow, <laughs> that really looks better than I expected. Dun. Dun. Oh no, Batman's coming. Ugh, I need to get into character. First I need to get down. Dun dun. Dun dun. Batman! Oh Batman, it's terrible! Dun dun. <laughs> Batman! Batman, it's terrible! Whoa, whoa, what's going on? Well, you see, what happened was me and Lori on, you know, the, the fridge of fear or whatever it's called, and then you know what happened? Lori accidentally fell off and hit the ground, and then she hit the counter and got the cap.
decapitated. Oh, decapitated. Oh, no. Oh, it's okay. Let me see. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, my God. Okay, well, you weren't lying. Okay, her head's over there. This is this is the worst death I've ever seen from falling off the fringe of fear. Oh, God, this is bad. Dun, dun. Then I didn't know that Ernie pushed her off, but I was just assuming she fell because that's how all the other deaths were. Well, at least I think that's how they were. Dun dun. <laughs> dun dun. Alright, Ernie, so tell me everything that happened. Okay. How tell it. Ow! Ow! Sorry. Uh, I'll tell it in my point of view. Shh. Dun, dun, dun. So you see, me and Lori were, you know, on the, the fridge of fear. And Lori kept getting close to the edge and I kept saying, Lori, watch out, you're going to fall. And then she turned around and said, no, I'm not, Ernie, I'll be fine. Dun. And then she fell. And she happened to fell at the perfect rate where her head hit the counter, and it split her head off of her body. Dun. Dun. And then she hit the ground and didn't answer. Lori! Lori! Dun. And then I saw you walking by, so I got you, and that's what happened. Dun. Dun. And that's what happened. Wow, that was an amazing detail. Okay, thanks Ernie. I'll go tell the other officers about this. Dun. So, Mr. Potato Head, I have this Ernie guy, and he has a wife named Lori, and they visited that fridge of fear, and then his wife Lori accidentally fell off, and she hit her head on the counter, and she got decapitated, and then, well, you see, so I was wondering, like, if you could help me get the body out. Decapitated? Oh, that's awful! I know, so I'm gonna need some help getting the body out away, okay? Okay, I can help you. Dun, dun. Uh, Ernie, what are you doing? Oh, nothing, you know, just doing stuff. <laughs> okay, come on, Mr. Potato Head. Dun, 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 I may have killed her, but she's still mine. And they're not gonna take her body away from me. Or her head. Dun, dun. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun dun. Wait a minute. What what happened to the body? I swear to God, it was right here. Are you sure it wasn't somewhere else? No, it was it was right here. Maybe someone else. Maybe another police officer took it. Huh, I don't know. Hmm. Whatever. Um. Come on, Mr. Potato Head. I love my wife, she's beautiful, but I never really thought she was for me. Oh, I really, really love my wife, but she always was, was uncooperative. She was always annoying. She was always disciplining, and she would always, she would always make me lose my mind. But that's fine. She's in a better place. Don't have to deal with her. I smash her in the face 20 times. Oh, yes, I did off camera. Oh, yes.
face I did. Oh, I love my wife. I love my wife. I love my wife. I love my wife. My wife. I love my wife. Let's get you somewhere else. Dan, Dan, Dan. You! The Batman, what are you doing here? Wait, so are you telling me you just brought your wife's body home and her head? Well, I missed her, so you know, I just I wanted to see her. But I thought I heard you singing some song about slapping her or something, like what? No, 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 that's not what it was, I, I, I promise. I'm keeping an eye on you. That was a close one. Oh, I love my wife, but sometimes she can be a pain. And she caused me to go insane. I heard you. All right, that's it, Ernie. Now you're a suspect. You're going to have to come with me. Okay, so you find out. But this isn't the end yet. We're just getting started. That's right. I pushed her. I pushed her off that fridge of fear. But I don't care. Because now I'm happy. And you're not going to take that happy what's a name from me! Ernie! Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Let's move this on to a car chase. Dun. Mr. Potato Head, hop in your car. Ernie's the one who caused all this. Dun dun. Dun. Oh no. Dun dun. Dun. Dun dun. Dun dun. All right, Ernie, you're not going anywhere. Get out of the car. You guys are in for some luck. I'm the best driver of the universe. Ah, ah. Dun dun. We can't go far because this road's not that big. Now how about this, Mr. Potato Head? How about you go park in the middle of the road and when you see him coming, you can get out and shoot his tires, okay? Okay. Then, and I'll go look for him. And I'll tell you when he's coming your way. Then, huh, I wonder if he went in any of these rooms. Dun, dun. Mr. Potato Head, he's coming your way! That stupid car! Ah! Ah! Ow! Dun! Where is he? I don't see him! Dun to dun! Dun to dun! Dun to dun! Dun! Shoot his tires out! I don't have my gun! Dun! 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 I'm alive! I'm alive! <laughs> you can't take the happiness away from me! No, you can't! I'm gone! I can't be killed! I can't be... I can't be... After all of that, that's what put him down. Uh. See, that's what happened. No need to worry now, because Ernie's going off to jail. After the hospital. Yeah. Mr. Potato Head, you're a doctor, right? Huh. Yeah, I'm a doctor. Well, I know you just shot Ernie, but uh, 
Could you, you know, bring him to your, you know, doctor's office? Yeah, I can do that. I do this all the time. After catching criminals and they get hurt, I always have to bring them to the doctor. Even if it's my fault that they got hurt. No. Okay, come on, Ernie. Let's go to the doctor. No. This is unacceptable. Murder! Murder! I'm getting a... I'm getting a lawyer! Yeah, yeah, you can get a lawyer. Dun, dun. That still won't change the fact that you killed your wife. And I didn't do it! Oh, come on. You admitted it to me, Ernie. No. Shut up, Batman! Come on. Dun, dun. 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 This may take a while to clean up, but life's not fair. Dun. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun.